Oh, you free one, you're right. Yeah, went out to there. Now, where did we go? Uh, we went round Blackburn Town Centre for a little while. So, uh, but the noise, I'm just having a little something to eat. Yeah, very, very busy. And I mean, very busy. Um, people trying to get their crap together, shall we say, and getting all their festive, festive shopping done. Yeah. Be extremely careful, folks. <laughs> A lot of pickpockets around. Especially in town centre. Just going through, just having, having some toast. At this moment in time. So how is everybody? Okay, I hope. Yeah. Did you see it online? <laughs> Morrison's were having a bit of a giraffe with it. Um They had a turkey go up. Well, turkeys, plural. And there was a special type of turkey. And, well, <laughs> and You think, oh, 20 quid? No. How much do you think? I thought 40 quid. But that, to me, that's an absolute fortune for a, uh, a, a turkey. Do you know how much Morrison's wanted for this particular turkey? For this particular range of turkeys they wanted a hundred and fifty pound each I thought what bloody hell I thought and uh, I wasn't the only one <laughs> They almost, they almost um, formed a, a group called Boycott, Boycott Morrison's. Yeah, well, it's to show, doesn't it? But uh, Morrison's got the message. You can't charge something like that. When there's a cost of living crisis going on at this moment in time. And. Yeah. It's not big and it's not clever. <clears throat> so. Myerson's ended up dropping the price for that. Yeah. I'm eating a piece of toast at the moment. Well, you know, that's still too much. Especially with all the things that are going on. 
Yeah. Uh, we might be going out tomorrow as well. Have a look around the shops again. And uh, see what's happening. Uh, went to Whitebird on Tuesday. Went there, did a bit of shopping there. Yeah, pretty good. A lot of people went to Home Bargains, but the stuff that we wanted, uh, well, Home Bargains didn't uh, carry it. Mm-hmm. 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 I was watching I allegedly today. about the shenanigans going on there hello police paramedics hmm I thought it would never happen but it did Yeah, so, yeah, and but what the other thing I was going to say, it's like going back to the 1960s, 1950s, 1970s. Everybody's going on strike. About pay. You know. I'm thinking, crap. You know. I thought, bloody hell. Yeah, you think some people would be grateful of having a job, you know, a lot of people out there can't get them. You know, no matter how much they try. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. We had Henry and another cat here today. White one with a, like a orange streak on its back. Really nice it were. There's quite, there's quite a few cats on this estate. That uh, walk around. And there's also a black one. Which we don't see much of. Yeah. Big massive shout out to all the subscribers out there. <laughs> I was looking at some of the Blackpool videos. Ooh dear. Well, one of the things that they didn't, what people haven't been telling you, is that. Once upon a time, where the promenade is now, 
right? The back states of Blackpool used to have the trams run behind the promenade. And you're thinking, well, why is that, Alan? Well, there's nothing worse than you sat on that in tram and all of a sudden a great big massive wave come, is, comes right off the top of the promenade and it goes right across the main road Yeah, right across. So what used to happen is, when that happened, they used to run the trams down the back of the promenade. So that you don't get wet. It's certain parts. Hopefully, to bring that back. Because you can never predict what the weather's going to do next. You know? Because I've been in Blackpool a few times. And where that row on the promenade is I've seen buildings get blasted by by you know right over the promenade right across the road and the other thing that happens a lot there then the shops on that side, on the promenade side, they used to get absolutely flooded out. There are basements and cellars underneath there, and the tides used to tide you know comes in goes over the top of the barrier across the road and into people's cellars and flood it wasn't just the The just to sell the parts, it used to happen to the hotels further down as well, and they used to get absolutely full of seawater coming in. To be truthful, it's not worth having a basement on the promenade because you're subjecting yourself to flooding yeah so that's the way the promenade is at the moment but the promenade that was used to have trams run round the back of it if you dug dug up some of the roads uh, behind the promenade you'll find rail you'll find uh, tram lines 
because the tram, the original tramway, well, the secondary tramway, shall we say, is set back more than the tramway that they've already got. And the other thing is, going to Blackpool North Railway Station is nothing new anyway. The early years of Blackpool, it ran all the way up to the station. But well, new developments came along, like Woco and all that, for, you know, I really do think that Blackpool Council should dig up the old tramway and, uh, uh, run it behind the promenade but they won't be able to do that say Bonnie Street Market and all that bit because there's uh, developments there hmm yeah. What do you think, folks? A secondary tramway at the back? Let me know in the comment section. Well, a big enough shout out to all my subscribers once again. And, uh, yeah. Make, make the most of this festive time. Don't get into any fights or anything, please. Because of all these strikes coming on, it's not, it's not, because it's not clever. And I've got a funny feeling when they, oh, we'll see a lot of staff leave and. Uh, Go somewhere else, maybe the private sector. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. With that, even border for even border for us having to go to go on a strike, and the DWP people are also. Uh, going that way but uh, it's like the 70s, 60s 70s again we don't like it we'll go on straight there yeah well hopefully tomorrow uh, things will be all right i'm just waiting for henry to come back and uh yeah so be ready folks start to uh, Buying your supplies up to Christmas, after Christmas. Be prepared, not scared, and a lot of the prepper channels are getting the word out that. Things are more serious than what people are telling us. 
go to your locals, go to your local town centres and start buying tin stuff. Kraft Heinz has issued another warning about canned products and some of its sources are going to get harder and harder to get hold of. Uh, there are rumours that Jacobs over here in the UK are planning another planning another uh, bout of strikes so we'll just have to see what happens with them and uh, yeah and there's going to be loads of other ones as well train drivers healthcare workers the civil servants uh, union I think there's only one I think there's only a few, uh, a few that are not going on strike. I think one's a rail union, a network rail. Yeah. Well, I'll see you later, didn't it? See you later, later. Bye bye.